This is an exam question which came in 2024 20, GCE. Quadratic equation will always be there in an exam, provided you are doing a ECZ or GCE right here in Zambia. You meet a quadratic equation in paper 2. So, there are just few things that you need to remember here. Standard form of a quadratic equation looks like this. A x power 2 plus b x plus c is equal to a 0. So this is a standard form of the quadratic e equation. Now, looking at the uh, quadratic equation we have right here, it's not in standard form. We're going to write it in standard form by taking these two terms to this side of the equation. And this is what uh, we are going to remain with. Okay. Negative 2x squared will come this side. It will be positive 2x squared. x will maintain... 7 will be negative 7. And, and when we write it in standard form, we now use quadratic formula, which of course looks like this. This is what we call quadratic formula. Okay. Without wasting our time, we can see that uh, this is A, meaning our A is a 2. This is B, our B is a 1. This is C, our C is negative 7. Let me list them here. A is equal to a 2, the coefficient which is right here. B is equal to a 1. C is negative 7 like this so our job will just be to plug in the formula so x is equal to negative uh, b we know that it's a one plus or minus square root over one squared minus four a is a two and c is negative uh, 7. We say over 2, a is a what? Is a, is a 2, like that. We now simplify further. So in simplifying this further, we are getting a ne uh, negative 1, plus or minus a 1, because 1 squared, which is 1 times 1, will just give us a, a 1 plus 56 over a 4. Negative times negative will give us a positive. 2 times uh, 4 or 4 times 2 will give us 8. 8 times 7 is 56. Equal to negative uh, 1 plus or minus square root over 50. 7 over a 4. Okay. So we can, uh, of course, separate here. We've got a negative 1 plus square root over 57 over a 4. Okay. Or negative 1 minus square root over 57 over a 4. So we've got two equations to solve. Equation 1 and uh, 2 right here. So for equation 1, when we get our calculator, we've got uh, negative 1 plus square root of 57. Then uh, we divide this by 4. Our answer will be x equal to... 
that is for this one for the other one negative uh, one minus square root of 57 divide by 4 this is giving us uh, x to be equal to negative 2.14 these are the two solutions by using quadratic formula so for the same we can use completing the square so let me show you how completing the square works so make sure you follow nicely up to the end so that you don't miss out any any spot in an exam you are not restricted to uh, a specific method so you can use completing the square the equation looked like this this is the equation we have if you want to use completing the square the first thing should be divide the, whichever number is in front here so this and this will go x power 2 plus 1 over 2x minus 7 over a 2 is equal to a 0. That's the first step. When you see that the coefficient here is a 1, our a here is a 1, you can now pick the b, which is a 1 over 2, 1 over a 2. So this 1 over 2, divide it by 2. Whichever number is here, divide it by 2. You are getting a 1 over a 4. When you divide by 2, you get 1 over 4. Apply a power 2 right here. So it will be 1 over 16. 1 over 16. So this will be x power 2. Okay? Plus... 1 over a 2x plus 1 over 16. So you now add this to both sides. Okay? Now look at this. This stuff. A constant. You can bring it this side. Actually, we are supposed to do this. At this stage, we bring this constant this side. But it's, it's okay. Even at this point, you can move it. It's okay. And then you say plus 1 over 16. Okay. And when you simplify here, you are getting x power 2 plus 1 over a 2. x plus 1 over 16 is equal to lowest common denominator. It's a 16. 2 into 16, it's 8. 8 times uh, 7, it's 50. 6 plus a 1 here. 16 into 16, it's 1. 1 times 1 will still give us a 1. So we're at this point. Let me copy. Let me copy. We've got uh, x power 2 plus 1 over 2x plus 1 over 16 is equal to 57 over a 16 here 56 plus 1 it's 57 so 57 over 16 and when we do that we can now write this as a x plus 1 over a 4 so remember when we got a b here we divided it by a 2 we got a 1 over 4 which we square uh, we applied a power 2 we raised it to power 2 and it gave us a 1 over 16 so that number before we raised it to power 2 is what's supposed to be here which is a 1 over 4 you just get this and then bring a power 2 here this is a perfect square so when we multiply this by itself it will bring us back to this point and then say equal to 57 over a 16. You square root both sides because you want to get rid of the power 2. This and this will go. We shall have x plus 1 over 
4 is equal to plus or minus square root over 57 over a 4. Square root of 16, it's a 4. And then we can say x uh, is equal to positive or negative square root of 57 over a 4 minus 1 over a 4. So we can form two equations. x is equal to 57, 57, okay, 57 over a 4 minus 1 over a 4 or x is equal to negative 57 over a 4 minus 1 over 4. So when we punch on our calculator this, square root of 57, square root of 57 over a 4 minus 1 over a 4. This is giving us a, a 1.64. So one of the values x is equal to 1.64. The other one, when we punch this, square root over, negative square root over 57 over a 4 minus 1 over a 4. It's also giving us the value that we found x to be equal to negative 2.14. So these are the two values of uh, x. Thank you so much. If you really need more help, we offer online tutions. This is a number you can WhatsApp or call us. Please note that GCE 2025 classes have started. So you can WhatsApp this number or call. We'll be able to guide you. 0969 17 Thank you and bye-bye.